Hey guys, Anomalous here. Today we're gonna talk about uh, one of the three comps viable for enhancement shamans in the patch 6.2. Uh, this will be a, a sort of like a tutorial for new players and players that uh, haven't done a lot of arena but they hesitate to try it. And uh, on the other hand, they love uh, playing enhancement shaman as they should because uh, they wreck balls, right? Um, this is the video for you guys. Uh, I hope uh, you find this useful. Right, so let's get on with the tutorial. Uh, as an enhancement shaman, uh, you have uh, three options, as far as I know, uh, in 3 of 3 arena. Uh, you can either play the standard uh, turbo cleave that includes uh, you smashing heads with the warrior, uh, LSD3, uh, where you will be uh, exploiting uh, warlock's overpower damage uh, to do amazing spread pressure, or beast cleave, uh, the one uh, we are talking about today. Uh, Beast Leaf contains all the uh, Hunter, Enhancement Shaman, and the Healer. Uh, hunters now have amazing burst uh, if they are Beast Mastery, uh, so your job here is uh, to make that burst count. Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, you're not uh, a DPS class, you're primarily a support class, so your objective won't always be to stay in the target and hit it at all costs. Uh, now, uh, here are the things you can do. have much CC as a shaman, uh, let's be honest, but uh, still you can be very useful. Communicate with your team uh, in order to land uh, chain CC on the healer uh, if you're focusing uh, DPS or vice versa if you're focusing the healer. Uh, that means control him during a longer period of time uh, using your crowd control abilities. Uh, you as a shaman have uh, two of them. Uh, one is hex, the other one is a stun with your cap totem. Now, uh, you have to be very very careful not to DR your CCs. Uh, in this particular example, uh, your Hex DR, uh, DRs with the Hunter's Trap. Uh, you solve that situation by CCing the DPS uh, when they are bursting, uh, preferably. Uh, that, will be, that will save your healers uh, cooldowns and things like uh, that to give advantage one team over, over the other. Your off healing is amazing as an enhancement shaman. Uh, that is uh, one of the reasons why you're so tanky nowadays. Uh, your healing surge can crit by up to 80k, and that's not even a full gear shaman saying. Uh, so with that amount of healing uh, from healing surges, your healing totem, and the ancestral guidance talent, uh, you, my friend, uh, represent uh, one of the best off healers this season. Well, obviously you will apply healing stream totem throughout the entire fight, hopefully, and you will heal yourself whenever in trouble, right? Uh, that is not the question here. But uh, when to start healing your teammates and stop uh, damaging your target? Ah, that's the question. You go healer mode uh, when your healer is somehow prevented uh, to heal your teammate. For example, he CC'd or the hunter is losing him and uh, taking a lot of damage. You then go full healer mode, put down healing stream totem and spam that healing surges. The other way you can help out your healer is by making a macro for your healing surges and making them uh, heal your teammates. You do that uh, throughout the fight, regardless if the healer is free to cast. And you do it when you have no pressure. So instead of using a uh, full, ma uh, full maelstrom stack on a lightning bolt, you insta heal your hunter. Uh, that way you can't be kicked also. One more thing that is crucial for you to do is purge the living shit out of them. The most important time when to purge is when you have the pressure on the target. Uh, you will then take off all purgeable uh, healer buffs and hots, including absorption shields and even bop from Paladin. Uh, if you manage to do that, uh, you will be able to eliminate your target a lot easier. Uh, the other time that is important to purge is uh, when you're not in melee range of the target, in order to get maelstrom weapon stacks uh, needed for a lightning bolt or healing surges. Um, you purge also the beneficial buffs of all enemies uh, when you can. For example, purging mages uh, alter time or icy veins can be helpful in decreasing their burst. 
Right, uh, now that we covered the basics, let's talk about playing with hunters. Now there is a difference in gameplay if the hunter is BM and if the hunter is survival. Uh, BMs like we said have a good burst, uh, so you will be focusing probably uh, on one target throughout the entire fight and hopefully kill it uh, off in uh, after landing a good uh, CC chain on the healer. As for the survival, uh, that spec may not have uh, the burst that BM has, but it possesses a very good sustained damage, uh, so don't underestimate it. Uh, so if, you, uh, if your teammate is survival hunter, uh, you're going to spread pressure and uh, try and be dangerous to every target in your reach. Um, on the other hand, you won't be able to spread uh, as much uh, pressure as you can, uh, uh, as you could with the warlock. Uh, but uh, hitting two targets will probably be enough. And as soon as you got their cooldowns, uh, you can pick the weakest link in the chain and kill it off. Um, both of these uh, mini comps, if you will, uh, have their moments, and uh, both are fun in their own way. Uh, so I suggest uh, to try them both out and see which one suits you better. Uh, anyways, this is it uh, for this tutorial. I hope I provided some useful information. Uh, once again, if you're uh, thinking of playing enhancement, uh, you should definitely do it. Uh, you will have a blast in the arena. Thank you for watching. Peace.